Hey, thanks enemy for the host. Better be back at it. Um, hey, what's up, Shiva? Thanks for the luck, enemy. Thanks for the host, man. How are you guys doing? Just back from a little break here. Who's that Pokemon? It's Pikachu! It's Clefairy! Fuck! <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Who's that Pokemon? It's Pikachu! Yes, definitely. Thanks, enemy. Uh, what's that? All right. Hey, what's up, Kavik? Making the books. Everyone from enemies chat. Welcome, welcome. How are you guys doing tonight? Well, thanks enemy for the host, thanks everyone who came by. Um, hope you guys are ready for some Game Boy games. Did you get a new PB? Uh, pretty good so far, got a few PB here and there. Um, this one though could be better, so we'll try to improve on it. So that's what you mean by Mega Man kick my ass. Yes, some days like you, you it's like the more you try, the less far away from a PB you get. It's like, just have to change game or give up on it. Skip a day. Yes, this is Chin Chan and there's a skip here, which you have to be really good at mashing. And you skip like... You hover like over the screen here until you get here. You can get to the top. This is crazy hard though. You have to... You need like Toads or DK's like level of mashing to do that. I almost got it once tonight. The rest of the time, I don't mash fast enough. And I don't know, maybe there's also a matter of rhythm to the mashing. Alright, so, not the worst fight. But my level was kinda crap. So here there's another skip, but there's a backup strat, so I'm good, yeah. Once again, if you mash fast enough, you don't need the first power up, then get it back after the, the jump. You can just get over that wall. By the way, thanks guys for the follows that bring me over 100, so now I don't have a choice but to do that 100 special. Don't 
don't know why, why, I don't know when it's gonna happen, but, like, pretty soon. Maybe next week, we'll see. Well, um... I couldn't see if he's right or wrong. <laughs> I know very little about sports. So that suit that I'm having right now, it's like a flying squirrel suit. Kind of like the Tunuki one uh, in Super Mario Brother. It's definitely overpower. Uh, not only you can fly over everything, but you shoot like two projectiles at, at a time, so you can kill boss faster, you can skip cycle when it comes to the boss. So, you definitely want to hang on it. For the entire run, basically. There's a few backup strats that I have to develop because I'm not that good at this game. But you cannot always get the suit back. Like in this level, it's really hard to get it back. warn you, the next boss is really something, it's special, let's say. Though my split kind of gave it away, but yeah, it's a pink bear. So if I can somehow manage to keep my power up uh, to the next level, we have a chance to PB. If I lose it, well... Chances of PB are getting slimmer. Is that even a word, slimmer? If I can get a double hit on that boss, I might gain a bit of time, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Oh, might have been a double hit. Yeah, it was. Yeah, that's a word. <laughs> nice. Alright, so I know here you're supposedly... You're supposed to be able to jump on those coconuts and get some height, but I'm not gonna try. I don't want to lose a suit. Also, the coin that I just got, uh, usually you want to avoid those, because in between this level, your character is gonna stop to every arcade, arcade machine and you're losing time there. But here it doesn't matter, because it's the last level. There's not, it's not like Barbie on Game Boy, where you have a bonus level after you finish the game. There's no such thing here. Alright, so if I can have a clean fight and stop, like, <laughs> pressing down for no reason, if I can have a clean fight, 
It's all it's all I'm asking. Alright, so here we gain a cycle because we hit him twice. If we can do that again, we're in business. Nice, nice. Alright, so that's the quick kill basically. Instead of five cycle, you get just three. Yes! Yes, finally! A decent PB. <sighs> it's been a while. I got one kinda decent, but I, the last fight was terrible. That fight was perfect though. Couldn't ask for anything better. Thanks guys for the GG. And this, this game is kinda neat because like... Like, the, the music is so joyful. It puts you in a good mood. And it's the first run of the, of the list, so you start the race with that game. But it can also be really punishing for the first game, because if you lose the suit, like, in, in some, you know, bad places, like, you will lose so much time in those levels. Even if you get the suit back later. And next game is Barbie, which I'm gonna practice right after this. Because I try to practice every game that I have learned so far, like daily. I'm trying to get a PB. I got a PB in Castlevania so far. Um, which one did I try? Uh, Little Mermaid, somehow, I, I don't know why, but I'm, I'm so bad at Little Mermaid, it's the easiest game in the world, but it's like I always do some little mistakes here and there, but today I got like an almost 30 second PB. Um, what else? Oh yeah, try Yoshi's Cookie. Yoshi's Cookie is not consistent at all. Alright, faking the books. Thanks for stopping by, man. Have a good night. Take care. So yeah, Yushi's Cookie, uh, once I've practiced more of it, like, if I just play the game from beginning to as far as I can get, at some point, you know, it's a puzzle game, so you can figure it out and predict, like, patterns and eventually get good, basically, at it. So that's when, that's, like, that's how I'm gonna get better and get a PB for this one, but yeah, Yoshi's Cookie is still really un inconsistent, but I kind of always finish the, the goal in like 6 minutes or less, so it's not too bad. It's a long generic, it's a long credit. Pretty happy with this one though. The one that I just, the one that I got just before you came in, guys. I was like, nah. Like I knew I could do better. I just had like, I just needed a, a clean fight on the last boss. 